Hey everybody, welcome to Shape It Up Over 40. I'm your host, Nicole Simonin, and I help women over 40 lose weight for the last time. On today's Shape It Up Over 40, I am continuing on with our daily Thanksgiving tips. If you are new to this show, I want to welcome you and let you know that from now until the end of the year, I am going to be coming to you every single day with holiday tips to help you navigate your way through the holidays. So today is about creating a thinner Thanksgiving plate. But before we dive into the episode today, I want to know what are your thoughts? I want to hear from you. If you have a question or a suggestion for a topic for the show, I want to know. So you can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash ask Nicole, A-S-K-N-I-C-O-L-E all together, right? <laughs> um, you can go there and ask your question. I, Depending on what platform you are watching this on, there will be a link in the description and you can just easily click on that, okay? All right, so let's dive into the topic. So thinner Thanksgiving plate. So my first tip is to use a smaller plate. The it's interesting because back in the day, the plates were actually like really small and our plates now in 2020 are huge. So try to find a smaller plate. And when you use your smaller plate, I want you to try and keep the ring around the edge, like give yourself half an inch to an inch space from the edge of the plate and make sure you're not piling food up really high, no leaning tower of food on top. The next tip is to get a lay of the land. Get a good look at all your food options, then pick your absolute must haves. Again, we're talking about Thanksgiving, so there's probably gonna be some foods that you are not normally eating that only come around once a year. So start with what you really want to eat and fill your plate going down the absolute must have list. So starting at the top of like, you're going to regret or miss out on this food because you only get it once a year, start with that food, put that on your plate, and then go down your list until your plate is complete. Next tip is divide your plate. So I want you to imagine that your plate is divided equally into four quarters. So quarter one is going to be mostly, quarter one is going to be protein. So protein is like your turkey, any kind of meats that they're having, that kind of protein. The second quarter is going to be just starches. So that's mashed potatoes, yams, bread, stuffing, okay? So first quarter is protein, another quarter is starches. And then the next two quarters, so half of your plate, is going to be filled with vegetables. You are going to get plenty of fats from the mix of foods that are already on your plate. So don't worry about that macronutrient. Um, if you're in, unfamiliar with macronutrients, they are proteins, carbs, and fats. That's another topic for another day. <laughs> All right, the next tip is give pause. So I want you to pause between each bite that you're taking when you're eating. So put your fork down between each bite that you take. Some of you, this is going to be a struggle. Struggle. I know for me, I have to consciously really put the fork down. <laughs> Make sure you chew your food until it's really broken down in your mouth and really taste your food. What does it taste like? Imagine you are a food critic and you're trying to figure out all the ingredients that are in that particular dish that you're eating. So after you swallow your food, I want you to take a sip of water. Then pause and ask yourself, did you enjoy that bite? Are you full? Then I want you to pick up the fork for the next bite. Or if you are full, stop eating. So the next tip is to engage in the conversation. So Thanksgiving is a time to celebrate and have gratitude for those around you. Engage in the conversation. Tell your most fascinating story that happened this year. Try to keep it on the positive side. I know we're in COVID, so try and pick a story that is um, more on the positive side. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Uh, you can also ask what other people are doing. 
And if you're not much of a talker, then listen, like really listen to what those that are talking are saying. Next tip is to drink water. So drinks, whether they're alcoholic drinks, soda, or other types of drinks, they are additional calories that are going to add up very quickly. Skip those entirely and drink water. If you want the water to be fancy or look like an alcoholic drink, so you don't have to deal with so much pressure, peer pressure, again, another topic for another day, add a slice of lime or lemon or orange or whatever to your um, glass of water. The next one is to get up and move on. So when you're comfortably full, get up from the table and separate yourself. Now, if you still want to sit and enjoy the conversation and people are still eating, completely remove your plate from where you are sitting so you do not have to worry about your brain talking you into eating more. The next tip is to skip seconds. Wait 20 to 30 minutes from when you get the signal in your stomach when you are full. So if your stomach is growling, then go get a second small helping of a second plate, second serving. Really tap into your gut and not your brain because your brain will tell you it wants more. If your stomach is like, I'm full, I'm good, you don't need seconds. So ask yourself, you know, before you decide if you want to go for seconds, ask yourself if you're really hungry, if you really want that second plate. So if you're planning on having dessert, I recommend you skip seconds completely. Same rule applies to desserts, as I said in the beginning, is to kind of get the lay of the land. So look at all the desserts and decide what is a must have for today. And I suggest that you put mini portions of your favorite desserts on a small plate. So I know I tend to get a plate and I will have like different things like pumpkin pie, apple pie, or whatever, you know, we're having little mini portions of each because I don't just want to have pumpkin pie. I want to have a little piece of whatever else is there. Um, and enjoy and savor those desserts. If you pick a dessert that you discovered you do not like, do not <laughs> continue to eat it. Even if grandmom is sitting, like maybe grandma made pecan pie and she's sitting there waiting for you to eat it all, just have a bite. And then if you don't like it, you know, just say, oh, I'm, I'm really full, but grandmom, it was fabulous. And move on. Don't continue to eat it <laughs> if you're full. And if you don't like it, especially, it's again, you're just kind of wasting calories that you don't need. All right, so I hope you are enjoying all these Thanksgiving tips. And I want you to know that weight loss can really be simple. In my one-on-one -on -one coaching, I teach you how and why building your foundation for weight loss is so important and how to make the whole process simple. Want to make losing weight simple? I'm sure you do. So head over to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat to get started. All right, look out for the next episode tomorrow. Take care.